Hey guys, it's Kat, and I got requested to make a. Oh, I gotta take a deep breath. To make a piggy otter pop cozy, and this is kind of what I came up with. A little piggy snout, and it's got a little tail, a little curly Q tail. And this one's pretty simple, and then you could do um, felt eyes. I use googly eyes, I just think it's kind of funnier that way. So what you're going to need to make this guy is Red Heart with Love bubblegum yarn. Very small piece of black for the snout. Googly eyes if you want them, or felt, whatever, however you want to do your eyes. I use little googly eyes. Um, an Otter Pop Cozy and your F hook and your G hook and scissors and um, tapestry needle. So what we're going to do is we're going to start with the body first and you're going to start with your G hook and your bubblegum yarn. I'm going to itch my ear, okay. And please don't mind the Bruja bottles down there. I'm an IPA fan. Anybody want to send me IPA, just let me know. Okay, so here we go. Let's make our piggy cozy. Sorry, this thing is all wobbly now because I'm trying to sit in my chair. Okay. Oh, these are my key kids. Okay. You're going to start with a slip knot, which is like so. You're going to insert your hook, you're going to grab your yarn, you're going to pull it up, you're going to tighten but not too tight, and then you're going to chain 9. Okay, we're going to chain 9, which is grab your yarn, pull through, grab your yarn and pull through, so that was 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, ah! eight and a nine then you're gonna half double crochet in the second chain which is not that one but it's that one you're gonna yarn over you're gonna insert your hook yarn over pull through yarn over pull through all three loops so you're gonna do that again yarn over you're gonna go into your next chain yarn over pull up a loop yarn over Pull through all three loops. So that was two. You're going to go into the next one. Do it all across. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. And eight. And then we're going to work on the other side of the chain. So you're going to kind of turn your work and you're going to work on this side and it's pretty much it's actually the same holes you just worked in but you're just working on the other side. You're going to make half double crochets. So you're going to work in the, the chain you just finished in but work on the other side. So there's one half double crochet two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And since I'm using the same color, I'm just going to work in rounds. So I'm not going to slip stitch. I'm going to continue to work. And you're going to have to double crochet around 11 more times so I'm sorry no 10 more times because this was row one okay so we're gonna do that's one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven so we're gonna make 11 rounds total and we just did one so we're gonna okay so with this I'm gonna work in rounds 
So I'm going to half double crochet instead of slip stitching. I'm going to half double crochet in here. And that's one. And then we're going to half double crochet around. So you got to have 16 half double crochets total. So that was one. Two. And if you feel better with um, slip stitching and chain one, that's totally up to you. You can do that as well. So it's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, really stupid yarn, eight, Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, twelve, what the heck, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 15 and 16. So that was 2, and we need to do 11 total. So that was 2, so let's go around 9 more times. Okay. Oh, I see my dog down there. <laughs> okay, so I've done my 16. My 16 rounds of half double crochet. 16 rounds. I've done my 11 rounds of half double crochet with 16 half double crochet in each round. So now we're going to work on the ears. So what you're going to do next is you're going to single crochet in the next two stitches. So single crochet, you insert your hook, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through both. That's one. You're going to go into the next one, do another single crochet. And then you're going to half double crochet in this next chain, oh, next stitch, half double crochet. You're going to chain two, one, two. You're going to slip stitch in the second chain from your hook. So not here, but you're going to slip stitch in here. So you're going to insert your hook, grab your yarn, you're going to pull through and pull through. And then you're going to half double crochet, nope, I'm just kidding, you're going to slip stitch, yes, I'm sorry, you're going to half double crochet in that same stitch, half double crochet in that same stitch, and that's what kind of leaves like the pointy ear look. If you want to do your ears different, that's totally fine, I've seen, I've seen some that are like round and floppy, but I don't think I've seen a pig with a floppy ear, but however you want to make it, it's totally up to you. Okay, and then you're going to single crochet three across. So one, two, three, and then you're gonna do the same thing again. You're gonna half double crochet in the next stitch. You're gonna chain two. You're gonna slip stitch in your second chain from your hook. And then you should have, then, and then you have double crochet in that same stitch. And then you're going to single crochet in nine stitches. So one single, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then to finish it off, you're just going to slip stitch in this next one here to it. And chain one, and then you cut it off. Okay. So, it looks like so. So you're like this now. Okay. What's my next thing on here? is the snout. Okay, so for the snout, 
you're going to use your F hook and your bubble gum. Okay, you're going to chain four. So you're going to start with your slip knot again and chain four. One, two, three, four. And then you're going to do two half double crochet in the second chain from your hook. So you're going to do one, two in that second chain from your hook. You're going to half double crochet in the next. Okay, and then you're going to do three in this last one here. So one, two, three, and now you're going to work on the other side. You're going to do one half double crochet. going to do one half double crochet in this chain here and then you're going to do one half double crochet in this last spot here okay and you're going to slip stitch it to your very first half double crochet chain one so you're like this now okay so then you're going to do two half double crochet in that same stitch so you're going to do two in this same stitch here, if I can do it here, two, okay. Then you're going to do half double crochet in the next two stitches. So one and two. Then you're going to do two half double crochet in the next two stitches. So half double crochet, two half double crochet in this one and the next one, one and two. Then you're going to do two half double crochet in the next one, one and two. Then you're going to do two half double crochet going down that way, so one in the next stitch and one half double crochet in the next stitch. Then you're going to do two half double crochet in this last stitch. One and two. You're going to slip stitch it to your very first half double crochet. Chain one. And you can cut it off and leave a long tail to sew on, but again, I am going to hot glue it on. So, however you want to do it. Okay. Oop. And then what I do, so there's my little snout. So then, to make the little nostrils, oh, right then, just drop it. I'm gonna take my tapestry needle. Oh my God, somebody's rooster is roosting at the wrong flipping time. Okay. So, what I did, is I kind of just, um, I guess it doesn't matter which way you put it, it's both the same way. Okay, so I kind of just picked a spot here, and just made a couple nostrils. And then I did the same thing over here. Just kind of picked a hole. There you go. 
Now there's your little snout. So you can tie off weaving your ends for that guy or set it aside. So let's work on our, my goodness, I can't keep anything in my hands. Let's work on our tail. So again, you're gonna take your F hook and let's see, you're gonna chain 11. And what I do is I leave a little tail so I can um, hook it onto, I can hook it in there and then I just tie the two ends together. So leave a tail long enough to put into there to attach it to your cozy and you're gonna chain 11. So start with your slip knot and chain 11. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11 and you can also chain less or more depending how long you want your little piggy tail and then you do three single crochet in each stitch so three from your second chain from your hook one two three then you go into your next chain one come on Two, three, then you go into your next one, two, three, into your next one, two, three, next one. So you do that all the way up. Three single crochet in each chain. And three in my last one here. One, two, three. And then you kind of chain one. Grab your scissors and you leave a chain or a tail to attach it. So what I do to attach my tail um, after I weave in all my ends, I take my tail and I just kind of pick a spot that I want it in. And I grab my yarn. Boop. And there you go. And then you just tie it in a knot on the inside and your tail's attached. And there's your snout. And there you go. Once you weave in all your ends, I don't think I like my little snout. I think I'm gonna fix that. But you weave in all your ends, add your googly eyes if you want to or not, whatever you feel like. And you'll have your cute little pig cozy. Cool, all right, well we're done. And if you guys like it, share it, show me what you make, and I would love to see it. And I will see you guys on the next one. Thanks for watching, bye.